you know, just a little bit of stress here and there for everybody. But uh, you know, just incredibly proud of this team. You know, we didn't we didn't play the way that we wanted to the entire game, but you know, when the most critical moments happened, it was a uh, the defense stepped up when they had to, the offense stepped up when they had to, and you know, made a kick when they had to. So you know, just an overall could have been could have been better, but you know, eventually had to win. You guys know you have the best. You already don't get two in a row. There. There's a lot of people. <laughs> You can come back. I think the whole stadium's yelling. I think I could hear you guys up there yelling to get down. Yeah, see, they were in the back. Goodness gracious. You know what? I was like, dude, great. What are you playing backyard, backyard football? Oh my goodness. Like the gate, just go down. Especially like every time he cut, it was like an NBA crossover. I was like, oh my God. So yeah, that, was, that might have been the most stressful part of the night was his interception. Both of them. Did, just didn't want, yeah, didn't want to follow the convoy. That is what it is. We'll learn from it. George, how, how did the dynamics of the offense change when Debo's out, and how concerned are you to beat your players? Um, Debo's a fantastic football player. He's amazing, um, especially the things that we ask him to do. Uh, you know, when Debo's, um, when he's in there, and you can like match him with Christian, and switch him around and stuff like that, it makes our offense what I think is different than any other offense in the NFL. So my concern for him not playing next week, uh, yeah. We're a different team without Debo. Um, however, we still have a lot of you know really talented people on this offense and in the building, you know, regardless. So um, losing was definitely tough, and we had a lot of stuff, you know, ready for Debo and Christian to kind of mix and mingle. Um, and when you lose that, it's kind of hard to do, you know. I mean, hey, Juwan got a carry on the first play of the second half. <laughs> I don't really know where that came from, but um, you know, I was like, as I turned around, it was a tough block on the front side for me and Trent. They shot the gap and stuff like that, but. I turn around and I see Juwan on the ball. I was like, what play did this call? Oh my goodness gracious. But hey, he knew where to line up and knew what to do. And it would have been amazing if he would have broke a tackle and you know, gone all the way. But it didn't happen. But uh, yes, he was a huge part of this team. We'll see what happens. Hey, George, you watch out, Juwan. Did your wife tell you not to She wore the exact same outfit. Yeah, you don't like it? Yeah, they look great. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I, I got you. That's crazy. I do. Good. Larry does. I disagree. I think Larry likes it. No, Levi's made the whole thing for me. It's kind of, you know, all my favorite things. I'll remember that one, Grant. Um, well, like, I think winning's winning, right? But if you find out a bunch of different ways to do it, I think that's best for your football team. You know, put guys, you know, add stress, add pressure. Um, I would love to win every game by three, four touchdowns. That would be awesome. A lot less stress in the fourth quarter. But to apply pressure, you know, to this team in the dire situations and be able to come out on top and rely on the guys that we need to make plays and our best players making plays when they need to, that's huge for the confidence of this football team moving forward. George, so you have to wonder, it's like having that pinpointing back and then also having Chris Conley step in with, yeah. I mean, what do you huge. think about those two veterans coming back and coming out and people that? I mean, Juwan's wonderful. Like, he's going to throw his body around the block. He catches everything you throw at him. Um, he runs the ball now, apparently. And um, but really, like, how about that? How about that third down? Was that a third down across the middle and Brock just feathered that over? Oh my goodness gracious! So yeah, for John, he made a bunch of really good plays for us tonight. And then Chris Conley, who's out there, and a lot of the time he's just running deep routes to try to get the coverage to drop, so we can hit guys underneath that. And he does that at 100 percent for every single time. You see him in the practice field. He does all the scout team reps. He does our reps. He's just an ultimate grinder, and that's what you want, you know, on your football team. You want guys that just love the game and they want to go out there and do what they can to help the team win. And then finally, when your number's called, take advantage of the opportunity. That's exactly what he did, and I'm just very happy for him. And Juwan's just being Juwan, which is really fun for us. You, you just so alluded to him. Obviously, a lot of you know, attention on the fourth quarter of the road, so looking back early in the game, after the fourth down stop, and then you guys come all the way back and score a touchdown. I mean, so you can mention just kind of how critical was that to just stay in the game. Yeah. Say it one more time. Yeah, early in the game, you guys yeah. the fourth down stop on defense. That was huge. You guys came back, scored the touchdown. Oh, that one? Yeah, I mean, like, they started off hot. Anytime the team's like, hey, we want the ball, you know, that's not really what, you know, analytics will tell you to do. Everyone's like, hey, defer it so you can get it in the second half. When a team does that and they want it, they go down there and, you know, get points on the board. All it is, you know, especially for, like, a young team who's very confident in themselves and they have a lot of momentum, like, it just adds to the momentum for them. And so when you throw it out, hey, we go out there and we sputter after, like, five or six plays and we have to punish, like, all the momentum's on, you know, on their side. So for our defense to get a fourth down stop and us to go score, 
we kind of just kind of halted the brakes on that, and then it was a little bit you know more even of a football game throughout that. I don't want to say even, it was just like the momentum just kind of seemed like it was it wasn't in full throttle for them. George, George how excited? Did you ever feel like this thing was slipping away from you? That you know you come in with all the pressure of being the number one seed, and the <coughs> just stayed around and seemed to control this game. Hmm. Slipping away, no. Definitely felt like uh, you know I just. Our offense wasn't, you know, as rhythmic as it usually is. Um, and our defense, I just, I mean, you can call it as you know, watch the tape. It probably wasn't our best game of football that we played all year. Um, so slipping away, no. I mean, we were within one score, I'm pretty sure, the whole time, right? So I, we have a lot of guys that can go for 75 yards, so I'm never really worried about that. You know, one guy, one defender slips, and, hey, Ayuk's going 75 yards, Christian's going 75 yards. So never, like, slipping away. It was more of a... We know the type of team that we have, guys. Go out there and just do what you can do on every single play. I'm very confident our ability is to go down there and get a win. And that's ultimately what happened on that last drive. George, how excited are you to be back in the NFC Championship thinking about what happened last year and the video that went out where you were, you know, there was a lot of frustration and you kept telling your players, like, what do you expect me to do? Just roll over and die. So obviously you're really excited about it. Uh, what are your thoughts? How are you feeling? I feel great right now. Very happy. Winning is awesome, especially in the playoffs, especially at home. I don't have to fly anywhere. Um, yeah, I mean, when you win the playoffs, it's a big deal. Um, you know, it's hard to do. Everybody in the playoffs is a good football team. You saw that tonight. You know, Green Bay took advantage of a lot of things that we didn't do well. Um, I honestly don't really think about last year's NFC Championship game. You know, we got a pretty different team, and you know, a lot of the same guys, but you know, it's a different season. So I don't really dwell on that too much, and just excited for the opportunity to get one step closer to like your goal when you're as a kid is to get to the NFL and win the Super Bowl. I, that's been my goal ever since I was like five years old. You know, when I was six years old, I was playing catch in the backyard with my dad. He's throwing me Super Bowl game winning touchdown passes. Like, that's what you know. That's been my dream forever. So, to be one step closer to that, and I'm not looking, you know, that far ahead. Like, hey, we have a hell of a game coming up next week. We have eight days until then. But uh, excited just for the opportunity to go play in the gym. And, and what are we like? We won it once. We lost it twice. So, yeah, let's get another win. Thank you. Trace, turn your flash off. Jeez.